morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Abalone Bites podcast. Today's episode number 56 already. Today's very special episode because today is the last episode with our amazing co-host, Alessa, aka Inky Rocks, for now here on the show. Uh, she's been here with us for five weeks and it's been a blast. Alessa, thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing great. And I want to really thank you for not making me get up in the middle of the night. That, that would have been awful <laughs> for five weeks in a row to get up at two. So so you had to get up no. a little bit early and everybody in Europe has to see this a little bit on the early side so that um, I don't That's have to okay. it's, it, I, th I think it's a great start of, uh, of, of the day. Uh, also for Willem, it's a great start. Good morning, Willem. <laughs> Good Welcome. Morning. And we have a very special guest today here, uh, Alessa, because we have Kate here. Uh, Kate from Bennu. Benu. Welcome, Kate. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Just. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, hi. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Everybody that's watching so early, thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you have a question uh, or a comment or anything else, just let us know in the comment section on YouTube. Note that we only can throw in the questions from YouTube in the show so if you have a question on instagram or facebook we do not see that so uh don't feel uh how do you say that in english um ignored <laughs> rejected yeah. or ignored but yeah. we just don't see it so yeah. please okay so if you have any questions throw them in on youtube and join the conversation because yeah that's uh, what we like all right before we start a, a podcast we always start with a pen check unless i would like to ask you to start with your Final pen check. The pen check. My final one is um, it came out maybe about three or four years ago, and it's a platinum Darth Vader. And I don't have a Bennu, so I specifically picked one that was kind of dark yes. and a little bit like to, as a foil to all the Bennu pens that are very bright and colorful and stuff. So it's got um, uh, Darth Vader's face in the back and the markings on here. And then inside the nib, I don't know what, what whatever the bad forces are in, <laughs> in uh, Star Wars, it's got it on the nib, <laughs> a special nib, and it's a dark nib also. And I have it um, inked up with a uh, platinum carbon black, you know, so. Yes. So it's the best way I could kind of maybe. It's very nice. An ode to Bennu. <laughs> It's a, to bring some balance in the show, really good. <laughs> I think this was a this was a Japanese uh, only edition, right? Japan. It only. might have been. Um, I wanted to like they put out a couple like that one. I think a Godzilla and stuff that were maybe Japan only, but um, yeah, I don't. I, don't I remember know for sure. that. I remember yeah. we we got a handful of fans uh, of, of, of uh, the Star Wars fans, uh -huh. but just a few because it was quite complicated to get those. I see. Yeah. Well, it's pretty dark pen. <laughs> definitely. Beautiful definitely. Are you a real Star Wars fan, Alessa? Um, no, not really. I just like kind of cartoony pens like that. So I have a like a Gundam mm. pen. And I don't even watch Gundam. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know what a Gundam was, but I got one because it had Gundam on the side and stuff. And I tried to get the Godzilla pen, but it sold out before I could get it. But I kind of like the whole cartoon uh, aspect of it. So that's too bad. That's too bad. All right, Kate, let's have a look at your pen check. Okay. Um, as always, I'm much asked and uh, I will sh go to show Bino pen. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, it would be. Uh, the introduction of the pen that I uh, last time we have a show I shown it to you and uh, it was a prototype by then uh, it was uh, a pen now it has a name called uh, Astra Gem and uh, the design was uh, inspired by post on Facebook on Front and Pen Network someone posted that uh, NASA has an announcement of uh, some asteroid called Bennu, double N, and uh, the shape remind uh, our pens, this age varied, uh, very strange looking object. And uh, mm -hmm. when we saw this post, we see, wow, we need to make such pen. Definitely, Alex was inspired by a shape. And here we are. Um, we launch uh, them, we introduced them recently to our dealers, and the, the pen will be launched 
uh, at the beginning of May. Uh, it has uh, seven color variation. I will just going to show you one of them. It's mm -hmm. AG. <laughs> it's AG. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nearly the same size as our talisman pen. Find the right angle to put it on the camera. Uh, it has different color as usual, crazy uh, signature Beno colors of all colors possible um, with chameleon sparkles and so on. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> our usual style. Um, so this is my magic. It's really, really nice. Especially the shape is quite interesting. Yeah. Shape is, is strange, but it's very comfortable, at least for me, very comfortable in my uh, arms. And uh, we give it to, as, us as we usually do before we launch mm -hmm. our pens, we give it to people with uh, different preference, different uh, left-handed, right-handed, uh, small hands. And so just to be sure that the pen feel comfortable uh, and uh, answer most of the preference for, for most people. Uh, here we are. And the colors are, this, are, are, are similar colors as in the Chameleon collection, right? Or not? Uh, not, not. We, we try every time mm -hmm. because, you, you, you know, uh, our main feature, the main feature of our uh, pens and our brand in general is that we produce uh, the material for the pen by ourselves and this is where we uh, what we have uh, really been doing from the very beginning we don't sell material we don't buy it from any other uh, companies uh, so this is our maybe pride and uh, what we love doing um, mm -hmm. so the, the, this so they all different and never repeated. So we never use uh, one material for more than one pen. And mm -hmm. uh, they might be similar for chameleon in terms of brightness and color and sparkles. Yeah. But uh, nevertheless, uh, every every pen is different, different color and different sparkles, different uh, shades. It's really, really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. We will, we, 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 we will dive more into this in this colorful thing later on in the show. <laughs> but uh, this looks this looks really nice. Thank you, Kate, for sharing. All right, let's have a look at my pen check. But before I do that, once again, welcome everybody that's watching. If you have any comments, just let us know in the comments uh, below or any questions uh, for me, for Alessa, or for Kate, and we will uh, we will discuss that here. Let's have a look at my pen check because I have here. Also a Benny pen. Yeah. I don't know if the light picks it up because my light source is not really well angled. But this is the what what, what pen is this, Kate? It's it's uh, Scepter One. Scepter exactly, One, exactly. also known as Wonder Woman pen. I don't yeah. know uh, <laughs> many many people on the internet mention it and. Uh, put it uh, in the front of the uh, camera next to Wonder Woman poster. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I agree. It has some vibe because of color, obviously. It, it definitely has the same colors. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a it's a really, really nice pen. Um, so it has red, blue and gold shimmers in it. Uh, I think it's gold flakes, actually. Uh, and it's and it's a really nice pen. It's a really huge pen as well. Um, but that was also one of the things that I really noticed with the Benny pens. They are all quite huge. Oh. They're, they're, they're large. We try to make them uh, as light as possible, so they will be comfortable mm -hmm. for uh, a long, uh, long session writing. Uh, we also have smaller pens, like for example, Minima pen, uh, that was specifically designed to be pocket pen, mm -hmm. the pen of pocket size. We also have mm -hmm. um, Talisman, which is, I would say, average size pen, but uh, Euphoria and uh, the ones that you have, the Scepter, they're more on a larger side. Nevertheless, I usually, I have not a very large hands uh, because of the weight, for me, even a large our large pen comfortable but mm -hmm. once again it depends on preference so yeah uh, definitely they are large that. but they are not heavy mm -hmm. so they're really lightweighted especially for the size of the pens they're really lightweighted so it's uh it's uh yeah 
It's really interesting. All right, Kate, I have a question for you from our previous guest to start a show with. And his question was, uh, the question comes from Markov Pry, uh, the CEO of Autohut. He was our guest last week, um, and that was quite a fun show. So if you haven't watched it yet, head over to our YouTube channel so you can check it out. Uh, his question was, which color would be a key color next year? And I think that question perfectly suits you because, of course, Benu is very well known for all the colors. Color. So, Ken, what color would be the key color for next year? Well, uh, I know that uh, there are several predictions on the internet, and, and I know don't know for sure uh, what color will be trendy or color of the year. But my personal wish would be, I would, would love to see some happy color because uh, last year and maybe at the beginning of this year was some kind of tense all, all all over the world and we need something to uplift us so i would mm -hmm. probably i would personally prefer some sunny color maybe orange or maybe coral something very uh happy if you, mm -hmm. if you if we may say so so my wish and my um, my bet is that it would be bright and uh, sunny color uh because i think we all need a little mm -hmm. bit of sun a little definitely bit of... that that would be a great one all right let's talk a little bit more about benu because benu is a really colorful brand uh, with a lot of colors and katie already mentioned it a bit uh, you make the you make the materials in-house can you talk us a little bit through the process of yeah. color making? Of course. Uh, well, this is what we are, I think, uh, good. Uh, do, doing different colors and different materials and uh, the materials that are not like any other. And uh, we really enjoy it. Um, Alex um, take part in all experimentation and uh, we also produce pants uh, sometimes exclusive to uh, our retailers and they have uh, they, they sent us specific uh, requirements what color they uh, would like to, to have for example like uh, El Grey tea which was uh, for Fugule uh, that was a lot of fun adding uh, real tea leaves uh, in the pen material mm -hmm. uh, Usually, we, we, we like to play with uh, c not only collaboration, but sometimes adding something extra. Like we had lavender talisman pen, uh, we infused with lavender smell. Mm -hmm. uh, all our talisman pens uh, has not uh, only was not only were not only sp inspired by some uh, substance that was used in centuries for like magic purposes or bringing light purposes but we also thought that it would be fun to uh incorporate to add this part of the, this uh, substance the pen was named after mm -hmm. into the material of the pen so it, it's usually fun and uh yes yeah, so we, we also um, have some ex new exciting idea about our future pens we already started experimenting with new material and uh, wow. i think it's yeah it is one of our, our most favorite uh parts that i'm sure all on our team really enjoy mm -hmm. i can definitely uh see that coming so a little bit of a background alessa uh, you live in japan mm -hmm. and uh, benu is not really uh, uh how do i say that widely available yeah, it's not really widely available in Japan. I'm not actually sure if there are any stores in Japan who carry uh, Benu. Kate, you might know that. Yeah. yeah, yes, we have a few, but we would definitely prefer there will be more uh, shops that have uh, our pen in Japan. Yeah. We have a distributor there, uh, Prep Incorporation, and also several point of sales that are mentioned on our website and where to buy section. Um, we're looking forward to expand our presence in Japan. It's such I think they'd be country. very, very, they'd be very popular here. I really think so. I mean, the bright colors and stuff are very popular here. And there are some small pen makers that make, they're not like menu pens, but they're very colorful. And the guy sells out. 
at every mm. show. So um, I think they'd be very popular here. I, I look forward to seeing them here. We will try. We will definitely try. Let's see. We have a question from Tom who was asking, how long does it take to bring a pen to the market? So we just started talking a little bit about, um, well, the, the color making, the material making. Uh, but Kate, how long does it usually take for you to bring? So let's say, uh, so your pen check, you showed our, the prototype, uh, I think it was a year ago or so uh, in, in this podcast. And now it's live. So how long does it usually take for you? Uh, if uh, we are talking about completely new model and new shape, uh, that it usually takes uh, like a year. But in mm -hmm. uh, in case of Astra Gem, it took more than that. I think two two years, because we remade uh, we needed to remade uh, this pen several times. Alex uh, wasn't happy uh, with the shape and how it lie in hand, so we need mm -hmm. to uh, re redesign it. Well, I think more than five times mm -hmm. and uh, each time we have prototype we tested it Alexis wasn't happy make it again uh, if you're he's really about, critical huh, Alex uh, he's, <laughs> I'm, I'm very blessed to have such partner because he's very uh, uh, he, he takes it, it this is seriously that uh, each product should be perfect and he should be completely satisfied bef before we launch this, uh, this pen. Um, never a light decision, never. The, mm -hmm. Okay, th this is not 100% perfect, but nevertheless, let this pen uh, go and sell. No, um, we postpone uh, the launch as long as it needed uh, for Alex and uh, the production team to be completely satisfied. Yes. But I think that's a good thing because, you know, you can launch a product only once. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I was also mentioning that uh, the, he really likes the Benny Euphorias, like the Vodka on the Rocks and the Bourbon. And okay. he's also asking, like, are there more cocktail Benny Euphorias coming? Uh, not sure about cocktails. Um, there will be uh cold beverage drink uh <laughs> serious lunch uh with uh Golet, Golet, mm -hmm. uh company and um no i don't think so but it's a good idea i think i think we need more uh more drinks uh, to <laughs> to try to use it so that fun definitely uh, definitely yeah uh, but, but not too many otherwise you know we have to we have to talk in a group chat like uh a, a, a meeting like hello my name is <laughs> it's been three days hello my I name is yours and i am addicted. <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way so we, we are open to, to suggestion we are open to suggestion if you have a favorite drink that not only tasty but uh, looks good uh let us know maybe it will be our next next fan i think i think tom has uh, will have some uh, some great suggestions because i also want to talk a little bit about the hand painted pens because uh, in the last few months um, we saw a lot of them uh the latest is of course this one is the bunny the easter bunny uh, which is really cute here painted on the pen and this is all hand painted so people That's it's not amazing. printed or whatever it's all hand painted we have draco darling which was released a little bit uh earlier this year i don't know if the camera picks it up <laughs> it's pretty cute camera. it's really cute and we also have this one it was launched around valentine's day really cute as well uh so kate you're painting all the time, or do you have people for you to do that? We have three very talented uh, artists who specialize on uh, macro painting. And uh, we are very happy that they joined, joined our team. Uh, one uh, painter, Natalia, she uh, came with us from Russia when we relocated to Armenia and uh, other two guys joined us uh, joined us uh, here already in Yerevan in Armenia 
uh, they all have different styles, different mm -hmm. uh, technique and different preference. Uh, we tried not to constrain in any way their creativity and let them create uh, almost whatever they like. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you can see in different pen and different paintings uh, the difference in their style. Uh, some pens might be playful and cartoon-like, and some might be very realistic. Uh, they also prefer different uh, themes like fantasy, science, uh, science fiction, uh, uh, more floral, more serious. Uh, and and I think I think it's great. Uh, we we also create some uh, custom colors exclusive to our retailers at their request. And um, uh, our next our uh, future launch nearest launch will be the pen with uh, Mickey Mouse because uh, Mickey Mouse uh, the old version of um, that's right yeah. steam steam what really yeah. went to public that went right, really. right. exactly great. Yeah. yeah so actually it will be very very soon and oh, wow you have it here yeah we have a no, world exclusive great. again people we have a yeah. world exclusive here <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, yeah. For so all fans of this funny little guy, I think it will. <laughs> we made it the pen, the pen in a gray uh, color, in a pearly gray color to um, emphasize, to focus on the black and white uh, mm -hmm. cartoon movies that it was first launched, first shown on the silver screen. So, But we also add uh, bright colors to, to reflect the playful nature of the character it's okay. really really nice and i really yeah. like the background color to be a little bit colorful because yeah. of course the original cartoons were all like black and white but mm -hmm. well we know mickey now with all the with all his colors yeah. but uh, i can also imagine that that you are really you really have to be careful uh with keeping Copyright. to that yeah, with the copyright, so keep really to the design because you know how Mickey Mouse looks right now. Mm -hmm. And you might want to add in a few features that is from the uh, current Mickey, which is completely different, of course. So, for example, I know that with the hand gloves or something like that, that was added later on to Mickey, but it's so you're not allowed to use it right now in exactly. this design, right? Mm -hmm. It's funny you mentioned this because we had to remake this pen um, uh, one time. First, we, when we introduced it, uh, it turned out that we can't call it uh, Mickey Mouse, obviously, because of uh, it's a trademark of Disney. And mm -hmm. we also had a, a little, a little black sign like a silhouette of Mickey with uh, this big ears and it, it turned out it uh, also uh, registered uh, logo of Disney right. so wow. we had to remade it to make sure as, as that we comply with um, this law and how, how, uh, how did you find out do, do, do you contact Walt Disney in in, in, the, in a case like this like hey what do you think of this pen is there anything that that is uh, that, that you uh, don't like or how does it work we, we are very lucky to have uh, luxury brands as our distributor in the in the US and Bruce yeah. from the luxury brand said, hey guys, it's dangerous, let's maybe uh, investigate it any further and uh, it turned, turned out he was absolutely right and uh, well, here we are, we launched it, uh, launched it three months or two months later than we mm -hmm. Uh, we want it, but mm -hmm. we, we made everything, uh, made every changes to make sure that uh, it's... Uh, yeah, you don't want can, to have, can... like, uh, lawyers <laughs> of Disney chasing you. You don't want <laughs> no, to. Yeah. No, <laughs> they're, they're not, yeah, they're not like no. Mickey Mouse. They're not friendly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, they have every right, and uh, personally, I... Um, I think it's important to respect other uh, companies' uh, property rights, uh, intellectual property, yeah. in terms of design, in terms of uh, whatever names, uh, trademarks. Uh, I, I think it's uh, 
the right things to do to mm -hmm. to uh, to be careful about the things and to not to infringe any, anyone's right. So no, I completely understand. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah. Because you also don't want to have it the other way around, right? That somebody is using of course. your uh, your little lark here on a, on a, on a, on a different pen or whatever design, and then uh, yeah, you don't want yeah. that. Nobody, um, nobody does. Yeah. Yeah, uh, um, I, I was thinking about with, with the with the we, we can call it Mickey Mouse, right? Or is do you think that uh, this is now suing us? Uh, the, yeah, the, the official the official name is uh, Steamboat uh, Master because we also avoid it's the, the the movie the first movie the, the first cartoon was called Steamboat uh, Willie, if I'm not right. mistaken. Yeah, but we, we call it Steamboat Master, mm -hmm. the reference of the character, but still trying to avoid all original right. uh, original name and mentioning. Right. I can understand that, but it's the same with with calling this pen Wonder Woman. It's exactly. Like, it's it's not you, official you cannot name. call it officially right. like that, but well, we it's just we a can nickname. Name it like that. Yeah, it's just yeah. A nickname. Like that. Yeah. Oh, Tom has a good question. Tom, Tom, you you might really want to seek uh, help, you know, with your alcohol problem. If you're <laughs> thinking in the, so early in the morning about <laughs> wisdom, really some <laughs> sort of margarita. Or to kill your sunrise, you know. I don't want to judge, but it might be it might be good too. I, I think I think it's a brilliant idea. I like to kill sunrise. It has uh, all the color that you usually like, and mm -hmm. uh, whiskey and margarita. I like margarita. Yeah, I'll pass it yeah. on. It's. I think it's a good idea. Very very. I nice. also like the other Great one. Chases. Space Galaxy series would be yeah. nice. They seem to be very popular with other brands right now. It, I think it's also suits Benu, you know, with all it the does. with all the sparkling. Sparkles, yeah. We have a pen uh, from Euphoria collection in the spice team. It's not spice; it's more of the um, playful interpretation of uh, abduction uh, sim uh -huh. uh, called uh, uh, called uh, Beam Me Up. Uh, uh -huh. It has some <laughs> some space uh, space uh, art uh, elements and also a fly saucer uh, abducting the call. Yeah, uh, so it's it's, <laughs> it's perfect. fun and playful. Yeah, thank you. It's definitely all right. Let's have a little bit. Uh, let's talk a little bit more also about uh, not really the colors of the pens, but also about the designs uh, because not so long ago uh, the. Piper series was launched with this beautiful snake on it here. It's, I don't know. My light, light source is not in the best place today. Sorry for that. Uh, but as you can see, a beautiful snake is strangled around the pen. And here it is on um, kept. Um, Kate, can you tell us a little bit more about this part of Benu? So, of course, now we, we talked about all the colors, uh, the materials that you make, but the designs are also, let's, let's put it this way, there are, are there, there's no cigar-shaped pen in your collection. No boring pens. No, no boring no, pens. Definitely not. Um, okay, um, th this particular pen, this, this, this particular collection, Viper, it was obviously uh, inspired by uh, snakes. Uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, they are amazing creature. I like snakes. I like reptiles. Uh, Alex uh, feels the same. I don't know why it's difficult to to, uh, to understand the reason. There is something very both dangerous and majestic about those creatures, and they are also very uh, vary in uh, colors and textures. And those uh, creatures are very um they, they have a rich uh history around them uh, in terms of legends in terms of art and uh, I, I, I can easily see why they they have been they have been inspirational for many artists uh, not only in uh, front and pants world but in, in any other markets and any other products and in art as well um this pen is uh, almost cigar shaped, but it has a uh, sculpted snake uh, around it, its body, uh, cup and mm -hmm. barrel, and uh, it's also hand 
colored, not hand painted. I would call uh, I wouldn't call it hand painted because there is no uh, painted art element. It's just colored uh, by hand. This is the shape mm -hmm. uh, of mm -hmm. snake. The color uh, has a slight uh, chameleon effect, so it might present different color and, and it's a different uh, light or different angles. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, and this is it. There are three different color variations and uh, uh, this is this really, is really nicely the, done. But, yeah. but uh, the snake is already on the pen, right? So it's not uh, put on the pen afterwards. So it's in the design. Yes, exactly. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to show that, but maybe I will do that with the B-roll. So you can really see that it's like in the material. So, of course, we know the snakes from other brands that uh, put it as an ornament on the pen. But this is, this is the pen. So uh, that's also quite unique, I think. Um, it's a really, really lovely piece. All right. Um, I see another interesting comment from Tom again, uh, because Tom is asking, does Benny envision any piston style or eyedropper pens in the future? Uh, we are thinking about this. It, uh, it requires mm. some... Uh, um, because all our pens uh, either have convert or cartridge, um, piston style is very tempting and we might go there in the future. And about eyedropper, uh, all our pens can be uh, turned in eyedropper quite easily with uh, some silicone and o-ring and um, we tested it, no leaking and so if you prefer uh, a large reservoir for your ink mm -hmm. and uh, don't like um, converters or cartridges, this is the way to go. Can be easily done with Benu pens. Yeah, it can definitely easily be done. Uh, I think every, I think all uh, Benu founder pens can be used as an eyedropper. Indeed, with some silicon grease, uh, you can turn it in an eyedropper quite easily. Uh, good morning to you, Claire. I think it's really early for you. About 4 a.m., 3 a.m., but it's really, really, really early for Claire. Good morning. All right, let me talk a little bit about some new products uh, that we uh, introduced on the Oppo One website uh, last week. New products. One of them, uh, which I was personally quite enthusiastic about, is this Scribofil Ebonite. It's uh, inspired on the, I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I really, I'm sorry for all the Italians if I butchered his name, <laughs> but it's, I read it as a Dutch person right now, is the Tronero Riviera. It's inspired on that. Um, and it's, it comes in three colors. They are made entirely of ebonite. It's the Scribofil Monte Tronero, uh, which is made of brown greenish ebonite with a yellow gold trim. We have the Scribofil Due Sorella in bluish ebonite that's adorned with platinum finishes. And finally, there's also the scribble field Sassineri, which is embellished with yellow gold finishes. And it is made with black ebonite with multicolor inserts. And the particular texture of ebonite, a material used for, used for over a century to make fountain pens, makes each specimen unique for the variety of colors that changes for each fountain pen. Um, the Trinero Riviera is a pearl of the Adriatic coast of central Italy. Uh, and it's a really, really beautiful place. You should definitely Google uh, that location. Good morning. Um, so uh, that's for about the Scribble Fuel Ebonite. And I'm really, really happy with the launch of this Scribble Fuel. Scribble is doing some amazing things. Lately, they yeah. did with the, uh, with the Aquarello. Uh, with a hand, it's, uh, with with the, with the brush pen, uh, which is really nice. And now with the ebonite, it's uh, it's uh, taking another step again. Uh, next week, uh, Luca, the CEO of Scribble, is our guest. So mm. we will talk more about this with him. Uh, Alessa, have you seen pictures of this uh, new Scribble yet? Yeah, but was this in your like um, your? I just read your weekly or. 
um, it was in the rundown. newsletter. Yes. Yeah, that's that's where I think I saw it. Yeah, I don't think I've seen yeah. it on social media yet, though. Yeah, no, uh, we also did social media posts, but it's only yeah. the 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 how do you say that the promotional picture. So we uh, also not seen it in real life yet. I see. But we know ebonite as a material, mm -hmm. and yeah, ebonite as a material itself. You know the structure, the feeling. Mm -hmm. It's just a really cool material. It is. Yeah. At least I am really looking forward to it. Yeah. So happy with that. Another new release that I would like to pronounce is also from an Italian company. It's from Leonardo. They launched two new colors in their Momento Zero uh, collection. One of them is quite familiar. It's the Angel Skin. They already uh, launched that color in their Momento Zero Grande collection, I think, right. about a year ago. Uh, it's a pinkish color. It's a really, really nice mm -hmm. pink. We sold a lot of them uh, in the Momento Zero Grande, and it was actually launched last Thursday, I think, or Friday. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Uh, but over the weekend, we sold a lot of the regular Momento Zero in the angel skin color, so in the pink color. Uh, and they also launched another color, which is completely new for them, but we have seen it already on another brand because it's the uh, Pura Vida. It has something to do with Costa Rica and uh, something with life, but the, the colors are, are really familiar because they are blue, red, and green. So the, the Pura Vida is, is, is a color that's now on the Momento Zero and that we have seen, uh, uh, that we have seen on Desbrook Maui before. Alessa, have you seen those colors as well? Yeah, yeah, I, I thought they were pretty interesting, but I think I, I like the angel skin better. <laughs> the angel, the yeah. angel skin is a really, I, really interesting yeah, color. Yeah, I think it appeals to a lot of, a lot of people. Yeah, I can I can see that. All right, let's have a look at the comment section again, because uh, Marlin is saying, sending much appreciation to Kate and her team. I love all my Benny pants. Thank uh, you, thank you so much. Uh, let's see, guys, I'm back already, <laughs> so <laughs> no worries, no worries. And Paulo has a question. Uh, hello, Yost and Alessa. Hello, Kate. Will you ever create a Euphoria in bright yellow? I love yellow and Good. it would be a great match to my euphoria, caviar. We have a, um, a new pen uh, that will be exclusive to uh, our online store, but it will be orange. Uh, I, I also like yellow. It's a very uplifting color and uh, I will definitely pass it to Alex and his team yeah. that we need a yellow team, a yellow, a yellow color in, uh, <laughs> yeah. in, uh, in our collection. Thank you. So definitely. unusual. That, that would be an unusual color for a pen. So it I think is. I have like one or two yellow pens and that's it in my collection just because it's an unusual yeah, color. Yeah, yellow is not uh, such a yeah. popular color for some yeah. reason. I think uh, D Diplomat launched a yellow excellence uh, uh, earlier this year. But besides that, I cannot come up with another yellow that was yeah. launched recently. Yeah. It's a great idea. We definitely need to have them. Uh, to have more yellow colors, uh, they uh, they have a lot of hues and uh, they allow it, it, this color allow uh, a lot of variation with different foil and different effect. Right. Uh, so thank you, thank you for the suggestion. Suggestion. I, I, I we will discuss it for sure. I'm I'm pretty sure we will introduce it in the future. Oh, look. We'll look into that. Tom was asking earlier, does Benny have plans to bring any new exclusive they can refill? Is there anything that you can share? Uh... <laughs> uh, quite often we introduce uh, new hand painted pens exclusive mm -hmm. to our store. Uh, we have uh, a new pen that hopefully will be uh, introduced in a week. Uh, it's summer, uh, summer scent. It's very, very orange. If I can use very mm. in this, in this, uh, in this case, more of a gold yellow body with uh, mm -hmm. some uh, hand painted uh, sunflowers and snails and uh, uh, little bugs, just to welcome summer, summertime. And uh, we usually um, uh, introduce like one two exclusive pens uh, in at, at our online store but uh, also our 
dealers, our partners have uh, exclusive, uh, sometimes hand painted pens. And the next, I think, will be uh, uh, cooled pens, uh, special ed edition for their birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, it mm -hmm. will be uh, hand painted, painted, and uh, from uh, from Minima collection, and uh, it will be very limited, like ninety mm -hmm. pen only. Um, oh wow. That's really special. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Alessa, do you have a question for Kate? So, yes. Um, well, first off, I just uh, one of the really striking things about Bennu at first, everybody thinks of the sparkles and stuff that you know, that's the first thing, but just like listening to all your different pens, it seems like you're you have such clever little inside jokes, kind of it's clever. Like, I think one time I saw a, a I think it was a um a pen with four leaf clovers in it. Didn't you have one out for, I think on, on St. Patrick's day or something. It had like clovers in it, just a little kind of little inside joke was what makes it very um, appealing, you know, or like, you know, the little bunnies and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, you don't take yourself too seriously, which is a really, really unique aspect of Bennu. So in asking that, um, especially I was looking through your Astro Gem because it kind of made me think of that. Have you ever considered like, you know, you've put sparkles in, you put, like you said, you said tea in your tea pen. Have you considered maybe like, like gemstones or minerals? Because I, I really like minerals. I'm a big mineral collector. I mean, there's minerals back here on this picture back here. Mm -hmm. Have you considered maybe putting like a little rose quartz in one of your pens or, 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 or something like that? That would uh, be, would that be difficult you. to do with the acrylic? Do you think at all? Uh, it could be incorporated, but as a powder. So, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't think it's possible to um, combine together acrylic material and natural stone. Right. But uh, yeah, but um, we have um, in our talisman collection, we have uh, uh, pens uh, that um, were devoted or inspired by some minerals, for example, peacock aura. Right. I'm not sure, sure if I pronounce it uh, correctly, but it's a very beautiful uh, uh, mineral. Uh, that uh -huh. uh, has um, uh, like rainbow uh, colors oh. mm -hmm. uh, on the surface of it. Uh, it, it because of this, uh, it, it was considered uh, lucky and uplifting and uh, has see. a rich yeah. history. Yeah. So we incorporated the powder with uh, in, in the, the pen material. And we also have uh, in the same talisman collection, we have cat's eye, tiger eye, and uh, um, hawkeye. Uh -huh. uh, pens uh, inspired by the beauty of oh, uh, quartz yeah. Yeah. With, with this uh, special eye looking effect. Um, yeah. Once again, uh, it's not what uh, I think what you asked uh, that we can uh -huh. uh, combine to those materials. Right. But right. this is definitely inspiration for us. And Alex, he's also a huge fan of different minerals. He's a collector. Oh, yeah, see. and he yeah. he has a large collection of rare uh, minerals and rare crystals. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. I'm a big collector, so I would love to see that. But I just really like the fact that your pens are just very clever. There's always like a little, a little Thank thing you. about it, you know, that it makes you think of more than just the way it looks. It's also maybe a little bit the story behind it. So it's, it's, exactly, we, we think that pens uh, they're not necessity. We can type or right. write with whatever we want. We want emotion. We want a joy from right. writing. So we want that. Uh, the, the, the pen was not just a pen, but has some uh, emotions. Maybe mm -hmm. we have some personal memory by using this pen for someone. Uh, maybe for someone, uh, the story that inspire or things that inspire the pen resonate uh, with some personal right. uh, personal issues uh, or mm -hmm. whatever. But uh, it's. Uh, we think we we producing or we creating or at least what we're trying to do to create emotions, not uh, right. not just uh, writing tool, not just writing instrument. Right. 
and this is why yes indeed all our uh, pens uh, have a little uh, tents uh, the, the mostly mm -hmm. about something and has uh, have some background story right that's great mm -hmm. let's see i see I, I, tom has a tom has a good idea you you might want to consider hiring tom for all his ideas <laughs> Really? <laughs> stimulated rocks or stone would be cool, like underwater with Claire resin. That would be yeah. really nice indeed. Yeah. Um, Claire also has a great idea. On your store exclusive, will you do one with elephants in Euphoria? I love the Euphoria size. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> okay, um, I, 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 will, I will make sure and pass this uh this uh, suggestion <laughs> oh, okay. share all the suggestions <laughs> that's good that's good t t today is a very lucky very lucky session very lucky show for me because i have so many ideas from you guys thank you <laughs> there are a lot of ideas we even have people uh from hawaii watching this show so welcome uh welcome to the show all right we're already uh, almost at the end of the show unfortunately um, but, uh, Kate, you can come up with a question for our next guest to start the show with. Do you have a question for Luca from Scribo? Um, okay, I'll go with uh, um, my last comments about uh, emotions. Uh, what do you feel or what do you, uh, how do you think, what emotion or what memory or what uh, feeling uh, should depend evoke when a person using it and uh, what the main feeling that uh, you would like your pen mm -hmm. bring uh, bring to you while you're using it it's a great question writing it down sorry <laughs> uh, like your hands to get to but I think yeah. that's true. Like you said, these pens are not necessary and it's kind of an emotional attachment many times with your pens, visually or the story behind it or whatever. So, yeah. We it's, it's you know, that. it's, yeah. Uh, sorry, it's we learn from uh, from uh, a few of our uh, regular customers that they have uh, pens that, uh, and this is uh, by the way how the talisman collection was born. Uh, that uh, their pens, they have some lucky pens in their uh, in their line that they use in a special occasion like uh, exam or where they need something special to right. be done. We all have such small things that we sometimes mm -hmm. maybe not being superstitious uh, still consider maybe a little bit lucky mm -hmm. and this is, this is yeah this is for pen it's very often i think i think it's a really good yeah. question uh, it is. from you kate so we can start next week with lucas straight away we will have a different co-host who will be announced later on uh but I can I can just say Luca is here. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Luca has been a guest on the show earlier. Uh, it's always great to talk with him. But for now, unfortunately, I have to say goodbye and have to say thank you to uh, Alessa. Uh, Alessa, thank you so much for uh, for today, of course, but also for the last few weeks. Uh, it has been a blast. It's uh, it has. yeah. Uh, it was thanks for having to me. Have you. Yeah, it was really, yeah, really. You, had, you also had a lot of you also had a lot of fans in the comments. I saw a lot of people uh, uh, were really happy with you as a co-host. So that's. Uh, and that's I really learned really a lot thing. too. Like now I'm like I'm waiting to go to the DC pen show so I can get a Bennu pen. <laughs> <Here's>, <laughs> I got get caught. I get caught up. <laughs> Please drop me a line, or I think I have. Oh, I have your contract. So we will, we will talk. We will discuss. Okay, uh, <laughs> but that'll be exciting. Our, our, yeah, our little secret. <laughs> yeah, it, it was very, very uh, nice. Because Alessa, to Alessa, you. you're you're moving uh, back to the United States anytime yes. soon now, right? Yeah, two months. Um, we're picking up and leaving Tokyo to go back to the and move back to the states. So yeah, okay. it's gonna be. It's going to be a big move. <laughs> all my Definitely. bottles of ink and all my pens <laughs> so, and all my rocks. I have really heavy rocks, really heavy minerals. So I'm really in trouble. <laughs> how, how are you going to do that? Are you just going to hire a boat and, 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 and you, just... they, the packers come in and you have to watch them to make sure that, you know, they don't drop anything. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> let's, let's it'll be a lot. Yeah. 
Let's, let's hope for that. We have a lot of uh, fans here. Tom is saying thank you for all your contributions to the pen community. You are all very much appreciated. And uh, Paolo so is really a fan of you, Alessa. She loves your he loves your videos. I'm a big um, fan of Paolo's. <laughs> <laughs> and Willem says that you will be missed, Alessa. Your questions thank are you, great. Kate, thank you so much yeah. for uh, being our guest here. And uh, well talk about Benu, uh, explain a little bit about the materials, about the different designs, about the hand paintings, and, and of course, all the other things that we discussed. Uh, it's always great to have you here. It's always great to chat about uh, Benu pens with you. And uh, well, if the people that are watching this right now haven't bought a Benu pen yet, we are happy to help them. <laughs> so you can just head over to the right. website and you'll find a really large spectrum of venue pounder pens i have to admit that uh, our website we recently changed our website uh, software so from the back end uh, it was last week or the week before um, and because of that i have a little bit of a backlog with adding new products to the website and one of them is the latest release astro gem so please give me a few days but i promise you that they will be on our website later this week, but please give me a few days because, well, how do I say that? Um, during the change of the website, some data went lost, like a lot <laughs> of stock information. Uh... And it's quite hard to reproduce all that. So we were counting all the pens here, all the inks, everything here in the store last week and putting it up online. And I'm still working on that. So I didn't really had a lot of <laughs> Easter weekend, but I did a lot of working during the weekend, but still, you know, everything for the website. But once again, Kate, uh, it was uh, lovely to have you. Yes, nice meeting you, Kate. Thank you. It was uh, very nice to meet you too, Alisa. And just as always, uh, very nice to see you. I had a great time. Thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, I hope we can uh, see each other on a trade show or whatever. Definitely. In, in, in the future. And we will talk about Bino Pan with Alisa. <laughs> Sounds <the> great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All thank right. you, boss. Everybody that was watching, thank you so much for watching this live and uh, and uh, contributing in the comments as well. Um, if you are watching this after this was live, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss out on a video anymore. And if you're listening to this through uh, Spotify or Apple Podcasts or whatever uh, streaming service you use, make sure to follow this uh, account so you won't miss out on a podcast anymore. Next week, we are back with Luca from Scribo and with another co-host. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.